Hi everybody, Dr. Tim here coming to you from SUNY Cortland's Sensory Integration, Motor Sensory and Multisensory Environment and part of the Fit and Fun Playscape group. I'm here to talk to you about cross-curricular activities. Boy, this is the time of year when we're sitting down and we're thinking about our curriculum in the fall, right? We're thinking about what are we gonna be doing? How do we align that with standards? What are the games and activities that we wanna build in? And I'm gonna push you to think about ways in which you can build in math, science, reading, social studies, literacy, technology, those are all critical areas that we can pull right in to a physical activity environment and help our kiddos make strong connections in regards to learning. We know that movement and learning go hand in hand. So let's bring them together. First thing you need to do, reach out to that discipline that you'd like to collaborate with. Let's say it's science. So let's reach out to a science teacher that we work with in our schools and ask them, hey, what's your standards? What are the curriculums? What are ways in which we can pull these things together? And if we're looking at exercise science, we're looking at how does movement affect the body and, and what we can do there. Kids can actually do a physical activity like a plank or a fitness activity and measure their heart rate or measure the fatigue level of their muscles. So these are all great things that you can think about to align with, for example, science. Of course, math is a no-brainer, right? Hopping, jumping, running, skipping, adding and multiplying, or just simply adding or subtracting, getting kids to add numbers as they move is a really difficult thing for kids to do. Um, but it's, it's integral because obviously the way we spend money, the way we do things out in the world is we're up and moving and we need to have that number, that numerical ability in our heads to be able to do that type of work. Social studies, my goodness, there's just a wealth of items to pursue in terms of the social studies end of things, whether it's a geographic part of the world or whether it's something cultural or something that uh, represents, you can do a whole host of cultural games and activities. And we think about some of the, uh, uh, the rollouts and some of the stuff that Fit and Fun has, my goodness, they can make all kinds of cool things from the, to climb the Andes or to go to Everest. I mean, there's just really cool stuff that you could fold in to do social studies. Last piece I just wanna mention has to do with technology. Technology can be really simple, really basic, or it can be really advanced. One of the fun things that I think kids love to do is to see themselves moving and playing. So have your kids go out, move, run, jump, do the rollouts, do the hopscotch, do the sensory pathways, whatever they happen to be doing, film that and have them create a little video segment to send home to mom and dad. So, hey, this is what we're doing in physical education. This is what we're doing, Mr. Principal or Miss Principal or Miss Superintendent. This is what we're doing in physical education and it's important. So try some things like that. I think you'll find your kids will really expand their whole idea of how important movement is when you tie it to a cross-curricular item such as math, science, music, literacy. It just goes on and on. That's it for me. Dr. Tim out. Have a great day, everybody.